Hello and welcome to our yoga pose of the day. For today's yoga pose, we're going to be exploring a twist, Rishi's pose. Now there are a lot of different variations of this particular pose, and I'm going to be focusing on the twist and giving you three options with the legs. So to begin with, for this tutorial, we'll begin to take your legs out in front, soles of the feet shining towards the top end of your space. And what we'll begin to do is bend that left knee. And I'm going to change my profile just for a moment. And as we begin to bring, bring this knee in, you want to have the sole of the foot in contact with the earth, rolling the shoulder blades back. That right foot's going up towards the sky or the toes. So the heel staying in contact with the earth. And we're here. This is our foundational Murishi pose. Two other variations with the legs is as from this foundation, you can stay here or you'll begin to take this foot over that right leg, pressing the foot in. And again, the right toes are going up. We're lifting the torso. Option three is where we begin to invite this right heel towards the left sit bone. If we bring this heel in, you want to make sure that left sit bone stays in contact with the earth, that we haven't lifted to make room for that heel to come in. So again, I'm gonna just change my profile for the purpose of the tutorial. And from our options of one, two, or three, we're gonna to begin to incorporate a twist. I'm going to come back to one. And for our twist, you begin to take your right hand to the outside of that left knee left hand coming behind. Now, for some, this might be enough, or you might begin to bring the inside of the elbow, hugging the knee inward. This right hand might come alongside, it might just float. Left hand is pressing into the earth, lengthening the spine. And you might begin to travel towards that right hip if we wanna take a little bit more of a twist. Now, something else to maybe explore is you have your fingertips the inside of your elbow if you want to take it further you might begin to take the outside of the elbow to the outside of the knee hand up towards the sky for a little bit more leverage if you want more of a twist taking the fingertips towards the hips and taking the twist there so that's a very quick snapshot of this particular pose. So there are, again, options with the legs and then further options with the arms. So what I'm going to invite us to do to explore this pose together for our practice is beginning to take your legs out in front. Feet might be hip width apart, rolling the shoulder blades down the rib cage. So we're going to start with our right leg this time. So beginning to take the sole of the foot to the earth. So we have our option one, staying here. Option two, taking the right foot over the left. Or option three, taking the heel to the sit bone. We're not sitting on the sit bone. It's just coming towards wherever you are with your legs. Starting with that left hand on the right outside of the right knee. Right hand's coming behind. You might tend to the fingertips. Regardless of what we've done with our legs, we might stay fingertips, inner elbow, hugging in, outside of the elbow on the knee, hand going up, length, or hand coming towards the hip, twist. Wherever you are, taking the gaze to the side, maybe beginning to take that left eye over the right shoulder. So with both eyes, we're looking behind us. So beginning to gently release the twist. I like to take my hands behind us, detangling the legs wherever you are. And we'll begin to take this on the other side. So making sure the sit bones are comfortable, feet are hip width apart, beginning to bend the opposite leg. Remember, we have different options. Option one, two, or three with that right leg. And the same with the hands. Right hand coming to the outside of that left knee, maybe hugging the knee in. It might take the back of the elbow. Hand
hand up towards the sky for length, hand coming towards the hip for a twist. If we're in option one or two, the right toes are still going up towards the sky, which is not flopping to the side. Slowly begin to release the twist, taking the hands behind you, keeping the legs in front. So that is our Murshi's pose. And again, this is just a variation, my interpretation of this particular pose. And again, there's various modifications or choices that you can take within the twist. Let me know in the comments, did you take option one, two, or three with your legs? I look forward to seeing you for the next pose.